What's going on guys? This is Raven Naomi and today I'm going to show you my absolute favorite 15 reverse T flip flops that some of it are my own creations. So without further ado, let's freaking do this. Alright guys, so these are some of uh, the reverse T flip flops. Reverse T flip flops are somewhat having the feature of a button where you don't have a toggleable on and off which uh, uses a lever here. So, yep, these are also compact. Some of it are not really compact, but I see it very compact for me because reverse T flip flop is very hard to do, guys. All right, guys, so here we are in the first design. So, as you can see, this is very compact. And this is actually a hyper reverse T flip flop, which means whether you toggle this lever on and off, it will give a pulse to this output here, redstone lamp. Uh, let me show you here and BAM it uses only an observer because an observer whether you have a block update it will give like a button feature to the output so uh, let's proceed to the second design All right so here we are in the second design of the reverse the flip-flop so as you can see guys this is not a hyper reverse the flip-flop which means it can only work if you toggle this lever on so let me show you how this works so when we flick flick the lever this redstone dust will be powered and also this is sticky piston and as soon as this gets powered it will give a pulse to this output here redstone lamp but in just a short time. Okay, so this is a standard reverse Steve flip love guys. I did not make this. Someone made it and I don't know who it is, but credits to him or her. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's proceed to the next build. Okay, so this is the third design of the reverse Steve flip flop. So as you can see, it is somewhat identical to this second uh, build here. The only difference is we have re redstone repeater which means you can actually delay uh, this uh, button like feature so as you can see we have like that and if you delay this much and you have like that all right so let's proceed to the next build okay guys so we are here in the fourth design and uh, if you see um, something here I just modified something in this build so yep yeah, so here we are and this is actually very identical to this and that all right so i just um gave it a little twist to make it more compact so as you can see we only have three blocks wide and two in height so we have a lever here which powers this redstone repeater which powers the redstone lamp and also this sticky piston and it will give a short pause and as well in here this is the same as this it's just a redstone dust but it still works right there okay guys so this is the fifth design and this is actually uh, my creation and some of my creations are uh, from here to there and actually the first design is my creation as well this is I think the most compact reverse the flip flop out there all right so um let me show you how it works so this lever powers this redstone dust this observer will observe that and it will give a pulse to this redstone lamp which means you have a uh reverse the flip flop so as you can see this is a hyper reverse the flip flop guys so we have a toggle on toggle off it will still work okay so this is the modified build of that and actually this is more compact as it is only standing in one block but they're the same in height but this is more compact guys so as you can see we only have that all right so we have a lever which observes by an observer here and gives a pose to this redstone lamp so as you can see this is actually a um, hyper uh, reverse stiff flip flop as well so we have uh, that all right so let's proceed to the next build all right so we are here in the sixth design this is uh, my creation as well so I call this a blind 
because the observer is blinded by the redstone dust. This uh, observer observes the redstone dust and soon it will give a pulse to the redstone lamp. So as you can see, this is also a hyper reverse T flip-flop as well as this. This is a pretty amazing because <laughs> this is the most compact reverse T flip-flop in the game. So as you can see, it has only a two um, actually, this is only a one block. <laughs> we only have a lever and observer that is the output. So once I flick the lever, bam, toggle on or off, it will work. Because as I said, this is a hyper reverse T flip flip flop. So let's go ahead and go to the next design. All right, guys. So this is the seventh design of the reverse T flip flop. So as you can see, um, it's also the same in here but we have a block so we have a redstone lamp which means if we toggle this on uh, this observer will observe the redstone lamp because of the block update of it and it will give a pulse eventually to this redstone lamp here so as we can see if you flick that lever on or off we have a hyper reverse T flip flop again it will give opposed to the redstone lamp above okay so let's proceed to the next build all right so we are here in the eighth build <laughs> i mean eighth design of the reverse t flip-flop so as you can see this is not actually my design i did not make this someone made it again i don't know who it is but <laughs> credit to him again or her okay so all right so as you can see we have an item here uh non-stockable stockable item it will work and um, yeah so once I flick the lever uh, this item here will be um, put in this upper dropper so well well then this com comparator will detect that and it will unpower this um, redstone torch where this redstone torch is um, uh, blocking this uh, item to go in this hopper and as soon as it gets powered down, this item will go here, and this will be powered off, and this observer will observe that block update, and in here, this will power the dropper again, it will go down. So it's very hard to explain. That took me some, some time to think about. So yeah, all right, so we have that. We have this, yeah, and we have that. This is not a hyper reverse T flip flop, so you can y use this in in any builds. Okay, so let's proceed to the next design. All right, guys. So this is our ninth design, and this is some of the designs I made. So yeah, this is pretty uh, more simple than this build here. So um, what it does is um, this lever powers the dropper, which has an item. Uh, it could be stockable or non-stockable item and uh, once uh, this gets powered by the uh, the lever uh, it will be put to uh, the hopper and this comparator here will detect that and it will give a pose to this redstone lamp but as you can see we have a hopper here that connects to the dropper again so as soon as uh, the dropper gives an item to this hopper it will give back eventually this is not a hyper reverse T flip-flop so yep let's go we have that and yep all right so let's proceed to the next build so guys so this is the 10th design so this is one of my creations again and this is only a little modification to this um, build here okay so the only difference is we have an additional one height to this build in here we only have a one height but uh, we have uh, four a block wide alright so the same rule applies to this so we have an item it could be a uh, stackable non stackable item so once we flick this lever this item will be in the hopper and the item will eventually fall in the dropper again so as you can see we have like that so we have a little modification again in here so I call this now a powered reverse the flip-flop so we have that and that is just a blink so I think it's useful for um, randomizers or, or 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 lights that are blinking so 
yep, it's all to you. So this is not a hyper reverse tip flip flop. It's only a powered reverse tip flip flop. All right, guys. So we are here in the eleventh design. So we are near to the end of this tutorial. So uh, this is a little modification uh, to this again because it has a delay now. And this is also a powered uh, reverse stiff flip flop. Same rule applies to this here. So we have an item that will be in the hopper and uh, it will go here and it will go here. Eventually it will go back to the drop. So we are here now in the 12th this side. This dropper will give a, uh, a block of iron to this and it will power to that and as soon as uh, it gets here, it will power this thing also. Let's proceed to the next build. Alright guys, so we are here in the 13th build. Alright, so um, another one that I made. Alright, so as we can see, we have a redstone torch here. That powers this redstone dust. And um, this is the same as the, I think, third design as well because it uses a sticky piston. But this is more compact. And this is what I call off reverse tape flip flop because it only works in off mode. This is already on and as soon as we flick it to off, it will work. We have it like that. The reason for that is because we have a redstone torch which gets unpowered when you turn this on. Yeah, okay, so uh, let's go to the next build. Alright guys, so this is the fourth and second to the last build of <laughs> the reverse tip flip flops. Okay, so we have this thing. So this is more complicated than all of these designs here, but actually I made this one and in there I made a modification that is very very compact and you can use it on your own okay so here we don't have anything we don't have an observer we don't have a sticky piston we only need uh, redstone torches and some of redstone repeaters so this is not a hyper reverse the flip flop but as soon as I flick this lever it will give a pulse and it will be button like feature okay so I'm going to explain this again entirely so you can build this on your own and you have your own understanding about this build so this lever will power this redstone repeater which uh, this redstone rep uh, torch will be empowered and uh, actually, there is a t dual purpose for this redstone repeater. This and and powers this redstone uh, torch, and this will get powered. And as soon as it gets powered, it will be this redstone torch will be unpowered. This will be and uh, powered, and eventually it will have uh, a reverse the flip flop. I don't know what I'm saying right now, but <laughs> that's it. We have lots of outputs. You can put anything in here. So we have like that, and eventually we have a power, uh, a feature of a button like. Okay, so let's go to the modified version. So this is more simplistic than this thing here. So uh, this is also again a uh, off reverse flip flop. So as soon as I flick this to on, it will give a pulse. So as you can see, we have like that. So we have that. We can also have an output of four. So we have. Let's proceed to the last build. All right, guys. So we are here in the last build, and this is my <laughs> most favorite. I think <laughs> I'm just joking. All right. So this is the button where this is the standard of reverse the flip flop. That's it, guys. So that's my time for uh, this tutorial. And thank you very much for watching this. And again, this is Raven Naomi, and see you guys next time. <laughs> Alright guys, so I will upload the world of the reverse tea flip flop in the description box below. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell for more videos to come. So bye bye!